Quickly up to Malios. Hawks looking to run. Malios down the left side. Back to Morse. Open. Corner. Three. In and out. McKay. He tips it in for two. two. Mabry knocks it free from Merceus. Malios wants transition. Feeds Mabry running the lane. Lays it up. And in. Plus one. Malios drive. Into the lane. Lays it up. Count it in the foul. What a finish by Dino. Saw that Devinish was down and took it right to the basket. Malios with a catch. Feeds Nielsen running the middle. Mabry wide open at the top. Three-pointer. Got it. Mabry open in the corner, drives baseline, spins it back out. Malios Morse at the top, back to Mabry, takes the corner three this time and knocks it down. Roy Mabry with 17 out of the gate, and it's a 26-17 Hawk lead. Yeah. Santo catches the free throw line, finds Mabry who lays it up and in with the right hand. That's the reverse he was looking for earlier. 21 for the sophomore. Eight minutes to go, first half, 32-17 Hawk lead. Yeah, he's got a four-point lead on pace right now. <laughs> Dishes it off to Nielsen. McKayhee on the wing. Back to Malios at the top. Hawks will get into their offensive set here. Santo wide open. Pops a three and knocks it down. He wanted it. McKayhee moves to the middle. Joshua the drive. Kick back to McKayhee. Fires away from three again and knocks another one down. <laughs> Shooting right over Denzel Primus Devinish. 6'6 six, six over 5'10. He can do that all day. Wow. And he can knock down those threes. It's a 30 point ball game with 11 minutes to go. Mark Schultz will take over. Sophomore from Townsend fires a three and hits it. First bucket of the year for Mark Schultz. Joshua holding on the right side up top. Hartung in the middle. Schultz outside. Joshua fires for three and knocks it down. Bombing away now are the Hawks. Joshua's got a 92 49 with four minutes to play. Pace is going to dribble out the clock. A nice flurry at the end by Mark Schultz. And a great finish for Keith Dixon's club as he's going to lock up career win number 500 in stylish fashion. 102 to 54, the final score. St. Anselm blows the doors off. All right, here with head coach Keith Dixon after the Hawks convincing 101 54 win. Coach, just talk about the victory overall after you know the AIC game when you're up 20 and then obviously squeak it out in the end. You know, to see you get up 20 here and really just step on the gas and put it away, is that what you want to see? Yeah, be, because, you know, let's face it. I mean, the last game, I think the spread was the exact same thing at halftime. So, in both games, had the same feel. You know, I, I mean, I thought in the ASC game we were in complete control. And then we weren't. And in this game, I thought we were in complete control at halftime. You know, and then, you know... The difference this time, they took 18 to 25 to 30 to 35 and never really never really stopped. So when they got control of this game, we just kept it. And I, I think at some point they just got discouraged. And uh, and we didn't. So, you know, I mean, there aren't too many games where at the 8-minute mark or the 10-minute mark, the game's not in doubt. So we'll, we'll take it and move forward. And then obviously, like you said, they might have been tired. but And then obviously, in the end, it doesn't really matter. It was nice to see that unit come in at the end and... You know, not give it back to 30, but yeah, keep piling it on. Absolutely. Well, they, they don't get a chance to play much. You know, so, you know, I think we've done a bad job of getting that group in the game at the end of games because we've we've allowed people to creep back in where it's not been comfortable. So, you know, people have no idea how hard those kids work, the kids at the end of your bench, how many extra shots they take, how hard they work in practice, uh, how good they want to be. You know, so I think it was good that they get in there. They... You know, I'm more worried about that group stopping people. You know, that group can actually make shots and score the ball a little bit. But, you know, I thought they did a good job of, of making sure that Pace didn't, you know, score 20 points in the last six, five, six minutes of the game. And then obviously career victory number 500 for you tonight. I know I've been around you enough now that you're more focused on this win uh, in the season. But, you know, just quick 30-second reflection, what's that yeah, mean for well, your career? Well, the way the game went, you know, there was, you know, not too many games that, at four minutes, can you start to think about stuff like that, you know, but it was, you know, really when it became clear we were going to win, you know, I, I really did took a look around the gym and looked at the banners and, and looked at some of the people in the gym that have been, you know, our supporters for so long and uh, it really was, um, I was very happy that we got it done in Stoutenburg, you know, that it didn't have to get down on the road and, you know, 500 is a, is a, um, is an important number, I think. You know, I mean, it's different than 400. I'm assuming if I hang around long enough, it'll be a little bit different than 600. Um, and I really am just happy that I got it done at Stoutenburg, to tell you the truth. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations.
All right, here with sophomore guard Roy Mabry. Roy, we'll start off with, obviously, Coach's 500th win tonight, and you're talking on the St. Anselm Coaches show on WJM this morning saying that you guys were more than, you know, that was more than enough motivation for you guys, and obviously it looked like, especially you, coming out on fire 21 in the first half, and it seemed like that was more than enough. Yeah, we um, we knew it was 500 for him, so we wanted to, he had been saying to us that we haven't been putting together 40 minutes straight games. You know, we'll have 20 minutes, play good, then the next 18, 17, play awful, so... We want to put string together 40 minutes and prove them that we're a championship team. And coming out to do it on a 500th win is, you know, that's I feel like that's special for him. So we wanted to make sure that we gave it all we had the whole time and really showed him that we can we can do something this year. And you got to 21, I think, with like five minutes left in the first half. Did they just tighten up on you, or did you? I mean, obviously, you definitely started distributing more, you know, for the little, yeah. little time you were in there in the second half. But did they tighten up on you a little bit more, or did you just see things more open? Um, the wing, the wingmen started moving up more and trying to force me out um, farther on the top. So uh, I tried just moving the ball and getting it into the into the middle and and just keep moving the ball because I knew that eventually, eventually I'd get my own shot if it came. And I mean, this time they didn't move away from me, so other people got layups and. Uh, I, I don't mind. I never mind that. I just, as long as we win, that's all I care about. And uh, five assists, not bad either. You're all, you'll always take the assists. So. Um, and then just just talk about the stretch you guys are in right now. Ten of your last 11, uh, seven straight now. Do you just, are you guys clicking? Do you just feel like you're on a roll now? Yeah, we do. We're, we got our second win. I think we're starting to get our second win um, for the second half now. So coming down this stretch, we got some tough games coming up. So I think that... Uh, us having this second win is going to help us to string together 40-minute games and actually beat all these teams that are coming up. So as long as we stay with it and stay motivated, we're, we can go far. And I'll let you enjoy this, but real quick, looking ahead to Saturday, obviously going to be a battle. Is that something you guys are oh, yeah. ready for? Are you just going to rest up here and head down there? And yeah, We're ready. We're, we're, we're going to get ready, uh, watch some film on them tomorrow, and then two prep days, physical prep days, and Ready to go down there. Here with junior point guard and captain Dino Malios. Dino, just talk about obviously uh, tonight's 500th win for head coach Keith Dixon. You know, as a captain and playing for him for three years, just what that was like to go out there and play for that and then get it done. It's definitely something that you know, as a player, you want to be a part of. And I'd say right now, you know, we're our record. It's good. I mean, coach Coach Dixon's happy with the way we're playing. I mean, obviously, he's happy with this 500th win and. Uh, you know, the whole team's happy for him, so. And just talk about this win tonight. I mean, obviously the AIC game, you guys were up, you know, 18 at the half, 20 in the second half, let us slip away, ended up pulling it out at the end. Was it nice tonight to get up by 20? They made a small run, but then just to bury them, get it to 30, get it to 40. Yeah, I mean, this whole this whole season we've had, we've come out, we've been up 13, 14, 15 points uh, going to halftime. And, you know, coach has been waiting for a game like this where we can just, you know, stomp on them and just keep them down. AIC game, we were up, it was pretty much the same game, first half, we were killing them, we let them come back, but tonight, you know, we kind of just had a little chip on our shoulder, uh, I think knowing uh, Coach Dixon's 500 win was on the line, uh, you know, motivated us more to, you know, not let them get back in the game, so we did a good job with that. And then just talk about the team overall at this point, I mean, is this kind of a win like this, you guys just share the ball, kind of complete team win. Is that almost a springboard? I mean, you've already, you know, won seven straight, but is this, you know, maybe AIC took the momentum a little bit away from you guys, but now after tonight, I mean, it seems like it was never in doubt, and, you, you know, you guys have that momentum back going into Saturday's, you know, big battle at Assumption. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been playing like this all year. We've been moving the ball great. Um, you know, we're up there working assists in the league, and, Hey, I, I mean, uh, excuse me. Assumption is definitely going to be a tough game. They're ahead of us in the rankings right now, and they're nationally ranked. Oh, they, they're in, you know, tallies to, for nationally ranked. But, um, you know, we just keep playing our game, and I think we'll, we'll do all right.